At some point we'll start covering all the roofs and say Okay, well, you made me right uh, simply because. Uh, the there we go. Bring her back home. I want that new jet <laughs> It's the reason why I got into geology, to be in the field. Um, combining the science and the lab work and the analytical work with the field geology is what it's really all about for me. These are not people who stay in their lab. These are people who really go out and look at things and see what's going on. And there's no substitute for that. And that's why this place is so extraordinary. We are at 100 meters below the top of Volcán Santa Maria. Volcán Santa Maria is the fifth volcan most alto de Guatemala. This is the best place in the world to camp, literally. This volcano below us, Santiaguito, is a laboratory volcano. It erupts every hour. You can get up high and look right down the gazoo. What a rare opportunity. It's a straight shot down the scarp, so when you stand on those rocks down there, you would see like one of the most marvelous volcanic phenomena on Earth. Did you hear anything in the night? 5,000 gallons. No, I slow slept. Quite a bit, I heard a few things, yeah. Okay. Oh, boom! Boom, eruption! There we go. Yeah, there's an eruption. Yeah. Yeah, 6-7-17. Uh, Some risks for geologists are mostly that you are outside in the outdoors. Let's face it, it's really difficult. Volcanoes are mountains. For us as a job, it's like, is it the volcano that's dangerous? No, actually, it's the mountain itself. The mountain is really dangerous. I mean, these things are very unstable. So, you know, it's not necessarily the case they're just going to keep growing up and up and up and up because they're also going to be collapsing at the same time. The hike goes through a little canyon. Uh, we know there's rockfall. Loose rocks and a bit of rock climbing. Uh, but that was a great, great vantage point as well. You do things for a reason. There is a payoff, right? So you, you want to go closer to the volcano because there are better data. How are we going to go closer? Or how are we not going to go closer? The problem is that natural systems sometimes behave nicely and they tell you they're becoming critical. Sometimes it's really difficult to tell. most places in the world, it's, it's not a hazard to the general population, it's a hazard to volcanologists um, who are going close to the volcano to, to take samples or to do some kind of measurement. It's an impressive beast. Yeah, that's wild. I don't have any specific ideas in, in, in mind. That wasn't the volcano. <laughs>